today I want to talk about the good, the bad, and everything in between when it comes to using landing page builders. If you're the person in charge of creating landing pages in your business, you have probably considered using landing page builders. First, let's start by talking about what a landing page builder is. So there are many of them out there, Unbounce, Lead Pages, Elementor, and so many more which you can use. They basically have templates you can go into and are ready made. You simply choose a template that is right for your industry and switch out the words that are in there with your own copy. It is super easy, super simple, usually. <laughs> Except when they're not. Here's what's really good about landing page builders. First of all, you save a ton of time. Instead of having to hire a designer and hire a developer, you can do it all in one platform that you pay for, you go in, you do it all yourself. You just have to have the copy in a Google Doc and you can go in, switch it out, done. If you are a one person team or up to three people on your team, you probably don't have all the resources or actually the people who you can depend on to build these landing pages. So a landing page builder is great. It is also fantastic when you have an idea for a new product or a new offer and you want to test it and you're not gonna spend a ton of time building it into your website and even building the actual product. A lot of the biggest companies out there today, what they do is actually create an ad and a landing page just to see if people bite, if people are interested. If they are, then they'll spend more time on actually building the product, actually building a landing page and an ad for it. So it's a great way to run POCs for your product and any new idea that you have. Another reason landing pages are really, really good is that landing page builders, most of them also allow you to create a very specific mobile version. Now in the world we live in today, most traffic is mobile. And when you're building your own landing page, it really is hard. You have to create a design for both mobile and for desktop. But when you're working with a landing page builder, you actually have the opportunity to either use whatever they create for you. So you, so you can design it on desktop and then it will actually create a responsive design for mobile. And then you can go onto mobile and fix it. Or you can do the opposite. You can design it and build it within the page builder in mobile and it will create a desktop version for you. So it saves time and it helps you understand the width, the size and everything you need for mobile specifically. However, there are some negative aspects for using landing page builders. Number one, they take a lot of time to learn. Once you commit to one, you have to be fully committed because it takes time to learn how to use it, how to actually create something nice and how it will work. The fact that it takes a lot of time also means that you are spending a lot of time building a page when maybe your resources should be put towards something that brings in a lot more revenue for your business. If you are the person in charge of sales, you should not be spending time building a landing page. So this is again, the idea of understanding what is better. Should I be spending time on learning this product and learning how to use it and investing hours on hours to actually create this landing page within the builder or not? Another thing is the pricing. If you are planning on sending a lot of traffic to your landing page, the pricing might go up and it might be very steep. And then you might wanna consider building the landing page on your own website where you won't be capped for traffic. Other issues that come up with landing page builders are SEO. Not all landing page builders are good with SEO, so you want to make sure they have the capabilities for you to actually implement all your meta tags and meta headlines and everything that you need in there to actually promote it with SEO and organic traffic. Then there's tracking. Being able to actually track the results of your landing page is crucial. So you wanna make sure that the landing page builder that you're using has its own tracking and that you can also add it to Google Analytics and track it all through there because you want to be able to optimize your page at all times. And lastly, one of the reasons you may want to reconsider and not use a landing page builder is branding. A lot of the times it is hard to really get it right when it comes to branding with landing page builders. 
Some of the builders allow you to upload your own colors and your own fonts and help you to create something that works with your brand, but a lot of them make it a little harder, especially on the less pricey uh, plans. So you wanna make sure that it actually fits your brand. If you're just getting started, I wouldn't consider that an issue because branding can come a bit later, but if you're an established brand who's actually running a proof of concept campaign right now, you might want to use brand colors and brand fonts, and that might be an issue within a dedicated landing page builder. As I mentioned before, there are a ton of landing page builders. My personal favorite are lead pages on Bounce and Elementor. However, there are also funnel builders and funnel builders actually help you build a funnel from scratch, meaning the ad, landing page, thank you page, and the actual emails. And that could be a better tool for you guys to consider if you're creating an entire funnel. That's where click funnels come in and get response comes in. One of the things you should definitely consider when you are choosing a tool is what additional features it has. For example, a lot of the landing page builders also have pop-up tools, and that is fantastic because you want to actually increase your conversions, and to increase conversions, you'll want to use elements like countdown timers, pop-ups, scroll bars, and so much more. And some of these landing page builders have it built in. So instead of having to pay for two or three products, you have it all in one. So that's definitely something you want to consider when you are actually looking at the different competition and deciding what is the best tool for you. If you're building a landing page right now, I really hope that I've helped you with this video to decide if it is a better idea to either hire someone to do it for you or spend the time using a landing page builder. I'd love to know in the comments, do you build your landing pages yourself? Are you using a landing page builder? Which one are you using? And how do you feel about it? It'd be great to know, and I'd love to engage with you in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.